I was just like, holy shit, you know, that's the same guys. Well, uh, this is where we kept our food trailer, a 19 foot food trailer. We'd park it over here and when it, we're not using it, then we'd hook it up and take it to events. And we had a catering one morning and Greg and I were talking and I said, well, I'm going by there. You know, don't worry about picking it up. And I came by here and it was gone. I was like, called Greg and said, hey, Greg, man, where's the trailer? He says, I don't have it. And I was like, well, it's not there. And he thought I was playing a joke on him. I was like, no, man, it's gone. And the lock was laying here. And so we're like, we checked with the, the pound, the impound, and we checked with the landlord, see if maybe they had it towed or if somebody had it towed and checked with the police and there's no, it was just gone, you know, so we, we called, made a uh, police report and uh, went from there. Do we had a catering that day, so we had to cancel the catering and do it and just kind of cook it at the restaurant and then drop it off. So it was a big inconvenience for us. Yeah, I can just, imagine. Just getting, finding out like that, it was awful. So when you, when you found out that it was gone, you came out here, you realized it wasn't Greg that had it. What'd you think? I don't know, I thought, well, maybe it just got towed, maybe, you know? And so there's a, a wrecking yard down the street here, thought maybe it got towed and maybe the landlord didn't like it sitting out here and had it moved or something, but, you know, it, obviously it was just gone, the lock was busted and laying here. And so, you know, we checked with Camp Tough and they have video cameras outside here and they, they had video of a uh, Chevrolet white old van picking it up and pulling it off taking it away. What'd you think when you saw that? I just felt hurt, man. It was just like, holy crap, you know, my, they just took my trailer, you know? And it was just, it was just an awful feeling, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, the trailer, it's not, not a cheap thing to have. No, to was, we had about 30,000 30, invested into it. It was fully loaded, you know, generators, stoves, fryers, you know, equipment and refrigerators and freezers, you know? There's a bunch of stuff on there, so I assume it's probably been dismantled or sold for parts or something, probably, you know, possibly, or yeah, maybe maybe they re repainted it or something for somebody else. I don't know. Hmm. So as you see it, you know, being towed away in this white van, yeah, what do you do? I don't know. I, I called the police, you know, let them know. Hey, man, I just my van got stolen. They checked with the the cameras, the intersection cameras and, and stuff, and you know, I didn't really hear anything back from them on it. You know, this I've called a few times and talked to a couple of different sergeants, and you know, they just they haven't gotten anywhere with it. You you filed the report. That was mid December, right? Yeah, the same day. Um, and then a couple weeks go by. You haven't heard anything right. until Chris. Chris, Chris from Panther City had his barbecue rig stolen. So the first thing I did was jumped up out of bed and start scrubbing through my cameras uh, and saw a van pull up at 5.15 that morning and cut, start cutting the locks on the trailer. And he saw the t tape that we had out on Facebook with our trailer getting stolen and he, he looked at his videotape and saw it was the same van and got it to me and I looked at it and Chris at Camp Tough, we looked at it and said, yeah, man, that's the same van. Those were the same guys. And so you know he got he got his was picked up at Daybreak Cafe out in Fort Worth. So I went out there and kind of snooped around and looked around that area for looking for a white van, you know, trying to find that white van. So I figured you know we find that white van, we're gonna find the crooks, you know. So what 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 did you think when you saw it? Was this? I mean, it's a pretty distinctive van. What did you think when yeah. you saw it? I was just like, holy, <laughs> you know, that's the same guys, you know. We, we got them, you know, I thought, okay, you know, this is a big lead. And I thought, you know, we're gonna get these guys, finally be able to get them. But, you know, they're, they're having trouble identifying the, the thieves and unable to make an arrest at this time, is what what I've heard. Chris, Chris, you know, spent, did some detective work. Yeah, he did. He's a great guy, man. He, he was really putting a lot of time into this and, you know, I really appreciate him helping us out. And he was able to track down his trailer. He had a GPS tracker on his. You right. didn't have one on yours. No, we didn't. Never um, even thought about it. But he was able it. to track it to this Daybreak Cafe. 
Do you think they're involved with yours too? Oh, definitely. You know, I think I think there's definitely a connection there. You know, somebody there knows something. You know, the owner or somebody knows what's going on from the tapes we saw and things that were getting brought into there and moving from one vehicle to another vehicle, one truck to another truck on their property. You know, there's some there's some link there. What do you think of the of Mario, the guy over at Daybreak, saying he doesn't know anything about it? Yeah, I, I, you know, videos that we've been watching, you know, it, 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 there's a definitely a connection in there. And, you know, I think the police need to get involved, maybe get some fingerprints and get some fingerprints off that van that they confiscated and start getting, getting down and dirty and checking into these guys. Yeah. What, what has it done to your business to not have this? Well, it, trailer. we've stayed fairly busy through the winter doing caterings and such, and you know we, we just have to rework some things. And we have a, uh, a smaller trailer that we use from time to time. We're kind of using that a little bit, and mostly we're cooking f food on site and having to deliver it instead of doing it on site. You know, so what is that? Big, what is that? Is that tougher to do? Is it oh, mean for to... sure, yeah. You know. Whereas before we were able to cook right on site and serve hot food just as they come up and serve two, three hundred people, you know, in, in an hour, where now it's just, it's not as convenient. And we got a lot of caterings coming up this spring, so we're going to have to replace that trailer, you know, and that's going to put us out another twenty, thirty thousand dollars to to be able to do that again. So we're just kind of waiting on insurance to come through and see what they do for us and hopefully we get a settlement with them pretty soon so we could start looking for a new trailer. Yeah, oh gosh, it's been a pain. Yeah, it's awful, yeah. Well, you know, I'm hopeful that we're gonna catch these guys, but the trailer's gone. You know, we're not gonna be able to recover that. We already signed the title over to a salvage company, so if it is ever re re recovered, you know, it's no longer ours. So your hope isn't that you get the trailer back, it's that you get yeah, the guys you stole. I just hope we get these guys and put an end to them and have justice served to stop these guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, it takes away from my family and all my employees, you know, the extra work that, that we've lost. So you came, when you came out that one day, what'd you see? Uh, I saw the lock laying here and at first I thought maybe Greg came and got the trailer because there was some conversations like no don't worry about it, I'll get it he, he said he could get it but I said no I'll, I'll take care of it and came down here and it was gone and the lock was laying here and I called immediately called Greg and said you know where, where's the trailer and it was gone and the lock was laying here and so then, what is look you can pick it up what is it what is it? it it hooks on the hitch and you can see where they were hammering on it and they busted this area loose on there Anyway, it just goes on there like that and locks on your hitch. But they just hammered it off and it, it's no longer, you know, capable of doing anything. Yeah. And so it was laying here on the ground, something like that. And when I came back by, it was laying over here. And I thought, that's weird, you know, why did somebody moved that lock? And I guess the um, guy over here next to us, the, the simply, Fondue or simply divine catering over there. I guess they saw the lock here, knew it was our, ours, and they moved it. They, they were laid, just picking it up yeah, so you could see it. it. And then they brought it to us down at the cartel. They dropped it off over there. So I guess they were just looking out for us also. And you asked for a surveillance video from here, from Camp Top, yes, right? Yes. And when you saw that van, it's a pretty distinctive looking van. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Describe it for me. Uh, white van, white front bumpers. Uh, there's like some smudges on the side of it. It looked like it could, maybe at one time it had numbers or or letters on it, you know. And it had a you know black door handles, scrape on the side, and a ladder rack. It had a ladder rack on the top, and and it you know they're they're all over the place. But you know this one was definitely the same van that Chris had that we had. Same, same tape, same looking van. Yeah, when you saw his surveillance video, yeah, you said. That's it. You know, from the tail lights, there's one tail light was brighter than the other. And you could see that, that tail light on his video is shining really bright. And 
but it's shining really bright on this video also. Interesting. What else do you think, Paul, folks should know about this? Well, you know, somebody knows something. You know, somebody's got to come, come through and, you know, rat out whoever's doing this or, you know, let the police know something, you know, because you, you just don't go around missing $30,000 trailers like that without somebody knowing something. It's, you know, I assume it's probably been tore apart or inside a storage shed somewhere, you know, or, or, or it's been sold to somebody else. How long do you have it? We've had it for three years, just over three years. It takes a while to get something like that retrofitted and up yeah. and running, and oh, yeah. it's a lot of money to put into that. Yeah, it, it's gonna take, once we put a, the order in for it, it'll probably take three or four weeks for, for them to have one ready for us. You know, and that's getting close to our busy time of the year, coming up in March, you know, so we gotta get boogieing on it.